water out of this pump. You need this valve to be open. Your suction line coming in. So if that's if it's not primed, you open this valve, and this is a hand suction, the pump creating suction to draw water from there into here. Once there's water in the pump, make your outlet of your desired outlet, whether it be the tank or circulation, one or two inch or inch and a half lines, or the deck gun, turn those valves on. You always want to leave your recirculation valve at least slightly on, so that once you shut your water off, it doesn't burn up the pump. It keeps recirculating. It doesn't churn the water. The pressure is controlled by your throttle. Gauge right here, more throttle, more pressure. Go ahead. We're running the joystick, and so by doing that, you can turn it to on or for the joystick, and then just practicing the different flows and uh, be able to operate it. What's your top button do? Top button is when it fans it and narrows the flow. So your grip is the turn it on and off? Yes. And then your joystick's just aiming? Yes. What's that little toggle button down there do? That turns it, the joystick off and just puts it on, right? So you're not controlling it. Just a constant on? Yep. If you go to water, it's a constant on. If you go to valve, it's controlled by the joystick. Yes. Just let the foam come out. You want to run all that foam out the best you can. How long do you run it? Well, it's at a half a tank, and there's a lot of acidity in there. It'll rust your pipes. So make sure you run plenty of water through it. Yep. Take the light off, and you're done best to let it idle for a little bit to let the turbo cool. Yes. You plug right there. But you'll want to shut your valve off first, Scott. Yeah, you no, might want to. That's right. There. Yeah, you might want to. He is correct. Thank you. And then you can shut that, and that will drain everything you can get dripping on the bottom. That will drain the pump. Correct. For winter. Yep. Make sure you turn it back go from there